I'm Amy. And this is Craig. And welcome, welcome to, to the, the Cool, cool AC show. show. At the beginning of our relationship, I was always telling her, like, I don't care about being in love. I just want us to be happy. And she was like, you know, what you mean by that? I didn't understand that concept at all. I was like, what you mean? You just don't want to work on love. You want to be happy. But after a while, I kind of seen what he meant. You can always love someone, but not want to be there. Happiness will keep you around somebody that you love. Absolutely, I agree. And that is what we based our relationship on in the beginning. And now, it's for the love and happiness. Don't you agree? Love and happy, love and happiness. <laughs> I know it's been a long time since we've been on TV or YouTube or IGTV or whatever you want to call it. But we got married and we want to show you guys all about it. So stay tuned. So to jump right into it, we had a meeting with Daryl, our wedding planner, and she was like, I don't even have a wedding ring, so how am I gonna get married? Lo and behold, did she know I had some up my sleeve. Ooh. She had no idea that I planned to propose on the big stage while DJing for Keisha Cole. The only person knew was who? Daryl. Yeah. <laughs> and I would ask Daryl, do you know when, when it's gonna happen, when it's gonna happen? He was like, boss lady, just make sure you keep your nails up. <laughs> We was at my hometown in Dallas, Texas in front of thousands of people and I feel real strong about that. This has never been done before, not on the Keisha Cole show. Ooh, thanks Keisha. So we was backstage getting ready for the show and we was putting the show together right in her face. She had no idea, did you? I had no idea what was about to happen. I just thought, here we are again for another show for Keisha. We're backstage, getting ready, sound check, yeah. and then... Yeah. Showtime. So sound check started and I was going through my cadence as usual. And then the eagle landed. <laughs> So C and the boss lady, Keisha Cole, was on the same page the whole time. Still, I had no clue what was going on. So, right in the middle of her singing her infamous love song, boom, the music stopped. And she turned, it's like, what happened? I'm in love, you know what I'm saying? Is anybody in love in the building or something? Yeah. So when he called me, I was like a deer in the headlights. I didn't want to move. I was so scared the security had to come and pull me out. <laughs> this is my girlfriend, y'all. So yeah. tell me about how you felt walking out there. What was you like? What was going through your mind? What was going through my mind? First, my knees were weak. I didn't think I was gonna make it across the stage. I could barely move, my legs felt so heavy. And then I was like, no, 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 she wasn't ready, she wasn't ready. <laughs> Too late for that. And I was like, what the hell, now? And I would love for you to spend the rest of your life with me. Uh, <clears throat> Can you get to know how be in my wife? Will you marry me? And then I asked the question, and what did she say? Of course I said, yes! <laughs> so, one month later, we had a production meeting with Daryl at the nice restaurant in the Galleria called 5115. Yes, nice. Daryl said 
said that we're down to serious business. So we had our serious faces on. Y'all listen to you now? I know, right? Yes. Like, 11 months? 11 months. 11 months. Less than 11 months. Low so fast. I know it's no. quick. That day finish is over with. And he was on point when he said it was going to come fast. It came really fast. Zoom. I want the pan seared red snapper. Absolutely. So we ordered our food, and the food came out, and then it was time to pray. Y'all know I like to pray. And we closed our eyes and there it was. We had a great conversation about things leading up to the wedding and then... It was time to get down to business. So the whole time they was over there having a good key key conversation and me, I was looking at them numbers like... So like, you know, if you want to have your violinist company, entertain whatever kind of entertainment you want to have, I'm not sure how y'all going to be doing all that. Um, and as he kept adding them numbers up on that paper, I was like, what the hell are we getting ourselves into? <laughs> and by the end of the meeting, he gave me the estimate and I didn't even look at it. I just kind of like slipped them in the bag and say, I'll look at them later. <laughs> to meet him with Daryl, we went venue shopping on our own mm -hmm. and we stopped by the Astorian Man. and we loved it. Loved it. So we were so excited, we told them we want to go ahead and book the venue. So they said that we need to go ahead and put a deposit down ASAP because that's a hot date and the dates were filling up fast. So we put out a deposit and locked it in. Two weeks later, we had a group meeting at the Astorian with Daryl and his crew. At the meeting, Daryl said he had two things to tell us, and it was great news and bad news. And we said we want to hear the great news first. So the great news was is that with the magnitude of our wedding, that he would be able to get us featured in the Montalucci Bridal Magazine. And we was like, what? The magazine? Excited. <laughs> then here come the bad news. And the bad news was is that the Astorian wasn't going to be big enough for all of our guests. It was like, what? After we done gave them this deposit? It was like, come on, man. It was a non-refundable deposit. So we went venue shopping again, and we went to a couple of venues, and then we walked into the Corinthian. My eyes are like, whoa, this is the spot right here. There was no other reasons for us to go venue shopping again. Done. Deal. After locking in the venue, then it was time to go look at cakes. And Daryl was like, I know just where to go. And he did. Who was it? Cakes by, by Gina. Gina. We got to the venue and looked around at all the cakes she had, and she had some very well put together cakes. We was amazed. Yes. And the backstory on Gina is that she was an architect turned baker. So her love for architect and baking came together. So when we got into the meeting, we let her know that we wanted her to build us a cake. She had an inspiration picture and showed it to her. She was like, mm, looked at it. Mm, mm, okay. We need a out of the box. Gina went to the back, got her things, came back, and started building. Yeah. 
she made a masterpiece and then came back and explained to us how she's gonna make it. Now, some of the ones that are straight. After that, it was time for tasting. And here's a to go for you for your son. Oh, oh, thank uh -huh. you. So she brings out platters of cake for C, platters of cake for me, platters of cake for Daryl, but we were fasting and couldn't have any sweets. Hallelujah, Jesus. Leave alone, baby. I am. You gonna come back? Yeah, you're coming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We were on the fast because you know we was losing weight for our wedding. No sweets, no fried food. Of course, no beef, no pork. And so we were just, you know, couldn't taste it. Dara had to taste it for us. Thanks, Thank Dara. We hope you guys enjoy episode one of season two of the Cool A C Show. There's more to come, so stay tuned. If you're watching on IGTV, please like and share. And if you're watching on YouTube, please comment and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for tuning in to the Cool A C Show. We gone. Are uh, we going the right way? Yes, lead them. All right, open your eyes. <gasps> <gasps>